industrial revolution, our students should be learning in spaces and learning things that will change their minds for them to transform the country. So the first STEM Academy in Ghana is going to begin today here with the short curtain by his... Hello guys, welcome back once again to our crime focus. My name is Kojo Erson. Thank you so much for checking me out on this channel. Please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe. So today, in today's video, we are coming to take a look at the Accra STEM Academy project. So the government earlier this year cut sword for the construction of a STEM Academy, which is to be constructed here in Accra, Ghana. So in today's video, we are coming to take, take a deep look into the project, whether it has been started or not. So stay tuned for more. So, um, President Akufuad on Wednesday, January 12, 2022, cuts the sword for the construction of the Accra STEM Academy, a school dedicated principally to the teaching and learning of science, technology, and engineering and mathematics STEM. The academy will, which will, will be completed within the next 24 months. Yeah, that is exactly two years. Will be, will be from kindergarten to high school with an expected population of some 2,000 students. It will have a number of state-of-the-art state facilities, including a four-story classroom block, science laboratories, a sick bay, administra administrative area, staff common room, library, washrooms, canteen, and 1,500 capacity multi-purpose hall. According to the president, Akufuado, the STEM Academy being constructed at a cost of 32 million cities will equip learners from kindergarten to senior high school with 21st century skills in problem solving, creativity, communication, collaboration, data literacy, digital literacy, and computer science. In addition, the STEM Academy will be a place where the learners in junior high school will be provided with the op options of learning basic engineering, manufacturing, and global studies to help them make informed decisions on their preferred programs of choice. At the senior high school level, he said, delivering a speech at the sword, cast the sword cutting ceremony. The president explained that government attaches importance to the teaching of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM at all levels of nation's educational system. In re recognition of the central centrality of STEM capability in the employment of science and technology towards Ghana's nation development, indeed, our world is essentially driven by technology, energy, industry, agriculture, medicine and health, clean air and water, transportation, sanitation, the use, the use of the use, management and conservation of natural resources. The successful exploitation of all these sectors depends ultimately on the application of science and technology. So it is obvious that to be part of this modern world, science and technology must be the present at every stage of development process, he added. Despite being one of the leading countries in guaranteeing access to quality education on the continent, President Akufado noted that Ghana's education sector still requires some significant transformation to compete with the best in the world. For example, he explained that Ghana must increase her gross tertiary enrollment ratio from the current 18.84% to 40% by 2030, adding that in accordance with government's education strategy plan targeted at increasing our science to humanity ratio from the current ratio of 40, 46 to the desire 60 to 40 in favor of science, the government is re repositioning our education system anchored on the STEM education. Now let's listen to the speech made by His Excellency Akufuado during the sword cutting ceremony. Delighted 
that a school dedicated principally to the teaching and learning of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, is being built under the presidency of Nanado Dankwa Akufuad. Indeed, our world is essentially driven by technology, energy, industry, agriculture, medicine and health, clean air and water, transportation, sanitation, the use, management, and conservation of natural resources. The successful exploitation of all these sectors depends ultimately on the application of science and technology. The time has come for us to reorient our educational system to equip students with the right technological skills needed to succeed in the 21st century. In accordance with governance education strategic plan, targeted increasing our science to humanities ratio from the current one of 40 to 60 to the desired 60 to 40 in favor of science, government is repositioning our educational system anchored on STEM education. Already, as part of my commitment to the advancement of STEM education in the country, government has commenced the development of 20 STEM centers and 10 model STEM senior high schools across the country, which are at various stages of completion. Some of these schools will be operationalized this year. These institutions and centers will be fitted with state-of-the-art equipment and laboratories to facilitate teaching and learning in all areas of study, including artificial intelligence and robotics. Within the next 24 months, God willing, the Accra STEM Academy will be completed from kindergarten to senior high school with an expected student population of some 2,000 students. This academy will have a number of state-of-the-art facilities, including a four-story classroom block, science laboratories, a sick bay, administrative area, staff common room, library, washrooms, canteen, and a 1,500 capacity multi-purpose hall. The Cross STEM Academy being constructed at a cost of some 32 million CDs, will equip learners from kindergarten to senior high school with 21st century skills in problem solving, creativity, communication, collaboration, data literacy, digital literacy, and computer science. In addition, the Accra STEM Academy will be a place where learners in junior high school will be provided with the options of learning basic engineering, manufacturing, and global studies to help them make informed decisions on their preferred programs of choice at senior high school level. I'm excited that as a fully inclusive school, students with learning difficulties, as well as gifted and talented students, would find a suitable home. The Accra STEM Academy is a Ghana project, and we can thus be sure that Ghana's young people are going to acquire skills that will put them at par with their peers anywhere in the world. I expect parents and students to take advantage of this facility's opportunities and enroll in this STEM Academy. Government is committed to accelerating STEM education in Ghana, to train students with cutting edge 21st century skills. God willing, within the next 24 months, we will all be back here to witness the commissioning of the Accra STEM Academy. May God bless the Accra STEM Academy and us all. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.
Excellency, the President. His vision that in the fourth industrial revolution for Africa to compete, we need to have the great minds starting from kindergarten focusing on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. He has already commissioned the construction of schools at the senior high school level. Ten schools are going to be open this year focusing on STEM at the secondary. But he also believes that there has to be a pipeline. And that is the reason behind the Accra STEM Academy, beginning from kindergarten all the way to high school. Robotics is going to be done. Internet of Things will be here. Artificial intelligence will be here. Mr. President, we are grateful. We are grateful because you've kept your promise to this country. You said you were going to transform education, and the journey began f almost five years ago, and uh, today we are continuing. Accra STEM Academy is the beginning of something that will transform the fortunes of this nation forever.